Okay, we're going to do problem number six from the review sheet, which says a problem has 200 yards of fencing to construct three sides of, rec of a rectangular pen. So what I'm going to do here is draw our rectangular pen. I'm going to label both sides with an X and a Y for the long side there on the side. Now since it said we have 200 fi feet of fencing, as we all know, that is equal to perimeter. So I'm going to write in a perimeter expression that says 2x plus y equals 200. Now we can also set up an area model or equation because that's the, pro the problem is actually asking us to maximize. So that would just be x times y, which represents length times width. Now because it is asking me to find the maximum area, it means I need to take the derivative of this expression. However, in its current state, we can't take its derivative. So what we need to do is solve this first equation for y, and that gives me y equals 200 minus 2x, just by subtracting y from both sides. And then I'm going to take this y and substitute it in for y there. And that gives me an area model of x times 200 minus 2x or area equals 200x minus 4x. 200 minus, <laughs> sorry about that, 2x squared. I'm getting ahead of myself there. Now, as I said, we're maximizing, so we do want to take the area, the derivative of the area, which gives me 200 minus 4 x and then we set it equal to 0 which gives me and then solve for x so that gives me 200 equals 4x or 4 equals sorry or 50 50 equals Okay, but we do need to prove that this is a maximum value. So we do a little number line test, like we've done before, and put our 50 on it. And of course, the minimum it can be is 0. So then I pick a number like 10 and plug it in here to our derivative, and I get, uh, what is that, a positive value. And if I take a number like 100 and plug it into our derivative, I get a negative value. So that shows we do have a maximum here. And that justifies the fact that we have a maximum value. So if our x is 50, all that remains, or 50 feet, all that remains is to find the y. And we can simply plug into the equation up here. And that gives me y equals 200 minus 2 times 50. So y would equal 100. So my answer then would be 50 feet by 100 feet of fencing.